I'm going to do my favorite soup recipe, some nice sexy mushroom soup. I'm a mushroom lover, so if you are, please join me. I'm going to use some nice button mushrooms that you find in any supermarket. But if you really want to go exotic, you can use a range of mushrooms. I got some aromatic vegetables, typically some celery, and you can always use the leaves for it. Also some stalks. I've got some carrots in season. Let's peel them off and some onion. So let's get some water into this. The next to go into this is some peppercorns for the flavor. Two to three bay leaves. Nice, just tear them off. And now back to the aromatic vegetables. As I was saying, you don't really need to chop them finely. You just have to draw out the flavor. So as you want it, let the carrots go in first here before I show you the trick with the celery. So take a rolling bin and just run it through. See, you can hear all the crackling, crunchy noise. So what is happening is the nice fleshy celery is just breaking into bits and it's oozing out the taste so that your stock gets maximum flavor. So some nice celery, tam. Now with some uh, roughly chopped onions. You can always use leeks for your stock or any other vegetables. Few things that you should avoid in a stock, bell peppers for that matter, they're quite pungent. Stock should always be neutral, it should be the base. The next thing is I'm going to take a whole bulb of garlic and sway it into half. That way. And that's it. And the half of it goes into this to get the flavors out of those veggies. Maybe just a bit of sprinkling of the salt. And now since we are making a mushroom soup, just the stems of these mushrooms, just lightly crush it and here it goes. This is the perfect stock you can make and the more flavorful your stock is going to be, the more flavorful is going to be your soup. So again with the mushrooms. Okay, the mushrooms I am chopping it slightly smaller. So we've got some mushrooms here and I've got some peeled garlic here. Just crush all the garlic around like this. And it's a soup, so everything's going to get blended. Now, let's take up a pan. I've got some nice butter here. Now first with the garlic. I like my soup slightly pungent, slightly spicy. So I'm going to use a bit of chili flakes. Not too much that it becomes very spicy. Just a bit. Let's saute this. And you really don't need to wait them to turn golden brown. As long as they are slightly translucent and have released the flavors, what goes in next is a lot of mushroom. Some salt to draw the flavors out. Next to go in is some cracked pepper and it's already smelling beautiful. Mm. Some herbs, precisely some basil, but you could always use some oregano or a bit of rosemary. And once my stock has come to a boil, I've really put it on simmer for at least uh, 20 minutes around. So all the flavors from the veggies are into the stock. A nice saute on this. So here with the stock, strain this out. The mushroom's almost done here. So I'm going to ladle back this clear stock now into the pan. Here it goes. So I'm going to add a little bit more butter because the French like it. Even I do like it. Why should we blame the French? Okay, so some butter in now. Since we want a nice and thick soup, just a bit of sprinkling on flour on this. Let it cook. See, this is my way of doing it. You know, different chefs, different people have different ways. So the mushrooms are cooked now. Here I have got the stock. I'm just taking a little bit out, just a bit. And rest of the mushrooms back into my stock. A little bit of the milk to go with it. And now it requires a slight bit of stirring. If we don't stir it, we are going to get bits of those flour in our soup and let it cook further slightly up now. Maybe another three to four minutes. What I'm going to do here is take a bit of bread. So I'm just taking a small piece of bread, almost like a crout, slightly thinned up. Just going to apply some butter on both sides of the bread bit of salt on both sides and a bit of cracked pepper again. Into the pan. So let this crisp up slightly from both the sides. 
just finely chopped mushrooms now. Let me take it away in a small ramekin like this. So this is for later. So you can see that now with the flour and the mushrooms, the soup has slightly thickened up. Soup's almost ready. Let's take it out here. A bit of cream now into this. And now, just going to blend it. So all the mushrooms, all the flavors is getting nicely blended into this. Again, this should be the consistency. Not too thick, but not very runny like water. Time for the tasting. See, it's piping hot. Mm. A nice basil flavor into it. Peppery, the chili flakes doing its bit. What is missing is a bit more salt. Quick stir. Blob of the butter again into this. But this time, the reason being, if you put a bit of blob of butter at the end and some cream, just a bit more and give it a quick blend once again it tends to get slightly more frothy and that's what you want with a mushroom soup not too much otherwise what it's going to do is it's going to take the soup temperature down so nice and piping hot cream of mushroom as frothy as possible and what was I doing with the crout and the mushrooms now you will know so I'm taking the crout I'm taking a bit of the mushroom paste that I had made just a bit of cheese on the top I'm in the mood to make it slightly more fancier so taking a cherry tomato maybe a roundel in the center and last but definitely not the least a bit of the parsley sprig to go right in the center look at that and now this on top and here you go Men for kings, men for pheasants, men for me, a lovely bowl of mushroom soup. I'm so tempted I can't just bloody wait for the spoon, you know. Mmm, amazing. Come on, stop ogling, get your own, I've got mine. For more of my lovely videos, please subscribe to Get Curried.